Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Ghoster here and today I'm going to show you guys the best Nintendo Switch settings for handheld players. So basically for players that play with the Joy-Cons attached to their Nintendo Switch. This also works for Switch Lite, um, but if you have a Pro Controller, these settings will not be the best for you. Uh, but I do have other settings posted out for control people with Pro Controllers and stuff like that. So go check those out if you want that. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. So for the brightness, you're going to want to have this at 150% all the way up so you can have it as bright as possible so you can see everything. User interface contrast doesn't really matter that much. I just like mine at 1.05. Colorblind mode, you're going to make sure to have this at Triton. Nope. This is, in my opinion, at least the best colorblind mode. It makes everything a lot brighter and it makes the colors look better. And colorblind strength is 10%. Or sorry, 10%. Safe zone, um, you want to have this all the way out, you use your left stick to adjust the corners, um, and yeah, you just want to have it all the way out. So, graphics quality, high resolution textures should be turned off, and high resolution texture reminders should also be turned off. Show FPS, if you want to have the best FPS, you're going to have to turn this off too, but because I want people to know that I plan on Switch and I have 30 FPS, I have this turned on. Power saving mode, always, always have this turned off. Uh, matchmaking region, you're gonna wanna have this at whatever region you are. Don't put auto because that adds a little bit extra delay. So make sure that it's whatever it's on. You can see, if you don't know which region you're on, uh, for some reason, you can look through the numbers it says. For example, Middle East is 241. That means that that's the furthest region away from me. Where NA West is 24, meaning that's the best for me. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then language, you can have this whatever you want. Toggle sprint, make sure this is turned on. Auto open doors, make sure that's also turned on. So if you accidentally edit a door, it automatically opens up. It's very helpful for free builds and 1v1s. Mental activation, always have this turned to hold jump. It's a lot more helpful, trust me. Combat, hold swap pickup, you have to have this turned on. It's very good for pubs and arena. Um, Toggle targeting, you can turn this one off. Mark danger when targeting, I like to have this off. Sorry, turned on. Auto pick up weapons, make sure this is off. It's pretty annoying. Um, but it could also be used to your advantage in certain certain situations uh, when trying to pick up a gun off spawn in a public or arena game. I prefer to item slots. You can configure these to whatever you like. I have them turned off. I just don't really like them that much. Uh, auto sort consumables to the right, make sure this is turned on, it's very helpful when reorganizing your inventory. Reset building choice, yeah, make sure that's on, disable pre-edit option, make sure that's also on, it's really annoying when you accidentally pre-edit uh, one of your builds during a fight. Turbo building, obviously make sure this is on, edit confirm on release, turn this on as well. It's gonna confirm your edit as soon as you let go of your edit button. Uh, contextual tips, make sure that you turn this off, it's going to give you better um, FPS. Invert view off, invert airborne controls off, turbo delete in creative mode turned on, tap to search and interact turned on, and report performance stats, make sure this is disabled. Uh, and yeah, these don't really matter that much. So for HUD, you can have this anything. So for HUD, since I don't play on a Nintendo Switch Lite and I don't play handheld, I have this very low because I play on a monitor. But for uh, Nintendo Switch Lite players, I suggest having this around 75% to 100%. Whatever you like best, the, lo the, lowest, the lowest possible HUD scale is always going to be better because it means that the HUD takes up less of your screen, but you also do want to make it big enough for you to see comfortably. Uh, show spectator account, reticle, player health, resources, minimap, quick bar, target info, pick up loot stream, map and get backpack keys, and elimination feed should all be on, so all of these should be turned on. Net debug stats, quest progress should be turned off, reticle ammo indicator turned on, control prompts turned on, and creative runtime performance starts stats Turn that off. Now for touch and motion in the touch and motion section, gyro, you're gonna have to turn this off for handheld. It's not very, um, it's very hard playing handheld 
with gyro. I'm not even sure if it's possible. Uh, but yeah, just turn this off. So for the controller options, controller auto run should be on. Building media, build, build builder pro should definitely be turned on. Edit hold time should be all the way down at 0 0.01. Slide hold time should be at 0 0.025. Reset camera axis should be at pitch. And reset camera time should be 0 0.1. Vibration should be turned off. It's very annoying, trust me. Um, you're also going to want to have build mode sensitivity at 2.1 and edit mode sensitivity at 2.2 and you have to make sure that you have advanced options turned on uh for look horizontal have this at 34 percent and look vertical should be 35 percent turning horizontal boost and turning vertical boost should be both be zero percent turning boost ramp time should be zero seconds instant boost when building should be turned off ads look horizontal and ads look vertical should both be six percent and then the boosts on this section should also be zero and boost ramp time should also be zero look dampening time should be zero seconds look input curve should be linear aim six aim assist strength should obviously be 100 percent for the best possible aim uh, and yeah that's it oh uh, make sure you have left stick dead zone and right stick dead zone both at five percent but if you have stick drift which means if you're controller automatically moves the joysticks on its own then you're going to want to have these higher to the point where it doesn't move on its own but if you want to get rid of stick drift altogether uh, i'll make a video about that soon uh, accelerate with thumbsticks turn this on tank settings turn this on uh, for audio it doesn't really matter that much uh, i like to have music at zero and everything else at 100 Visual sound effects, make sure this is on, it's very, very important. Voice chat, obviously, this is um, preference. License audio is also preference. Now for the binds, these are very important, but because I don't play on handheld, these binds will not work for you. Um, but if you do want to look through them, here you go. So basically, you're going to want to have L instead of having it at jump, as I do. You're going to want to have that as edit um so that way it's a lot easier to go into edit mode um it'll be very helpful and it'll help you guys out a lot trust me everything else you can kind of do whatever you want for these i don't really have um a lot of experience with the best binds for handheld and switch light players so you can kind of just test stuff on your own um, and yeah, these stuff don't really matter that much. These are all preference to whatever you really want. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for the best handheld Nintendo Switch settings um, and the best Nintendo Switch Lite settings. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and watched all the way until here, please comment down the word handheld and leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Peace.